Hello and welcome to this week's video roundup. My name's Sean O'Neill and I'll be taking you through my three favourite science videos of the week. First of all, on a cheerful note, bats that drowned in their own blood. Sandrine Kirstemann talks us through some intriguing autopsies. A survey of wind farms conducted in 2007 found that bats accounted for 60% of winged animals killed near turbines. So a team at the University of Calgary in Canada decided to investigate further to determine how they were dying. They collected 188 dead bats and were surprised to find that most of them didn't have any external injuries. This is unlike bird casualties which are usually mangled and covered in blood since they typically get struck by turbine blades. To look for more clues, the researchers dissected the bats. When they examined their lungs, they found the blood vessels had burst, causing their lungs to fill up with blood and drown them. Rotating blades leave a drop in air pressure in their wake, so if bats get too close to them, their delicate lungs will expand and explode. A similar thing can happen to scuba divers if they ascend to the surface too quickly during a dive. Next up, if you blame your desk job for the spare tire that's creeping up around your waist, and do you know who you are, you may want to consider this change of setting. Researchers at the Mayo Clinic have designed an active office environment and tested it for six months at a firm in Minneapolis. Instead of chairs, employees were made to walk on treadmills as they did their computer work. Meeting rooms were also set up with treadmills, and games were introduced to replace the sedentary coffee and cigarette breaks. 18 out of the 45 participants were monitored to see if the changes had an effect on their health. On average, employees lost 4 kilos, and those committed to losing weight shed an average of 7 kilos. The study also found that productivity improved. The company reported increased revenue during the first three months of the trial. Finally, it's common knowledge that fire needs oxygen to burn, but researchers have finally zeroed in on the minimum concentration needed. A team at University College Dublin has been testing how matter combusts by performing burns in chambers under controlled atmospheric conditions. They used thermal imaging cameras to record what happened. Here you can see moss burning on a hot plate at a temperature of 450 degrees Celsius with 19% oxygen in the air. They found that at least 17% oxygen was needed for combustion to occur readily. When there was less than 15% oxygen in the air, they couldn't get matter to burn at all. This goes against previous studies, which have claimed that matter will combust with just 12% oxygen in the air. The new results imply that there must have been more oxygen during the Mesozoic era than previously thought, since we have evidence of fires from that period. The work could also help to test theories claiming that many mass extinctions occurred because of low oxygen levels. That's all for now, but if you can't get enough, there are plenty more science stories on our website. For example, find out about a new technique that quickly adds textures to graphics and the switching on of the biggest experiment of all time, the Large Hadron Collider. But don't worry, it's not going to destroy the world. See you next week.